All new at 10 going inside the rescue at Grand Canyon Caverns. Yeah, tonight we're getting some new video and hearing from the rescue crews who helped an Arizona family trapped underground for hours. This story is making national headlines and our Ashley Paredes is hearing from the heroes. This is the look nearly 200 feet down into the elevator shaft at the Grand Canyon Caverns. That's where a Coconino County search and rescue unit had to hoist up three family members after the elevator they rode down in broke. The process both challenging and unique. Normally we're out in the wilderness, we have trees to work with. In this case, using their truck as their anchor. This was the unit's first ever elevator shaft rescue. 11 volunteers along with four others from Flagstaff Fire. Once every everything was set in place, they planned out the safest approach. The shaft itself had some overhanging rocks around the edges, but our um, top team set up the anchor at the top in such a way that those individuals were pretty much free hanging in that shaft and weren't close to any other hazards. Rescue operations leader Adam Barnhart helping to place each person one at a time inside of a hammock like chair made with rescue grade material and clipped into place. But even that took coordination. We got him on top of the elevator car itself. Um, so there was a little ladder climb through a small port. Volunteers then using 600 foot ropes having to pull five feet just to raise each person up one foot. It took us about 25 minutes and that's because of you know, how much physical effort it takes running back and forth to the the beginning of the, the rope line, basically. A relief for Sherry Jimenez when she made it to the top. They did everything so professionally, um, so safe. This is the 45 minute cavern tour she and her seven other family members were expecting, which has a grotto and an underground suite. But they didn't plan on staying down there for nearly 30 hours. And the only alternate route up wasn't an option for everyone. I opted to come up on the rope, on the rope system at the end of the operation, uh, as opposed to sending the uh, emergency fire escape stairs they had built into the shaft because I felt our rope system was far uh, more secure. Now, three days later, an inspection of the elevator is underway before it is clear for use. Ashley Perret is ABC 15, Arizona.